You two needs of the organization, as you alluded to, are very different. How savvy are you to look ahead? Because, I, again, one of the things I know you know is very difficult to drive looking in the rearview mirror. Yet a lot of companies look at last month and last quarter and last set of trends in thinking about how we're going to plan for our challenges ahead. Very changing dynamics, very different dynamics in the needs of the organization. How many of you do uh, kind of some sort of strategic planning session? Most of them. What happens to most of these things? I mean, if we all know this, and it's the huge elephant in the room, why doesn't anybody talk about it? We go off-site, we do this amazing strategic planning session, right? And they either end up in binders or in some folder until 11 months, three weeks, and four days later, where we take it out, dust it off, change the dates, change a couple of things, and resubmit it for next year's plan. Who's, who are we kidding, right? Less than, uh, uh, in a session I talked about, less than, only about 85% of teams spend less than one hour a month talking about their strategy. Less than 5% of the organization understands where the ship is headed. Somebody said, did you just say SHIP? Right? So the needs of the organization are very, they're changing and we're just somehow blind to them. Workforce dynamics. Respectfully, the WASP mentality is still very prevalent in a lot of companies. I'm going to show you, you think I'm kidding, I'm going to show you a picture. You're just not going to believe this is 2007 going to 2008. Diversity isn't about affirmative action. Diversity is about inclusion. Diversity is about bringing people from very different perspective than yours. How many are digital residents versus digital tourists? Because the digital residents use technology to get things done as a part of their DNA. They're absolutely the wise. They're the ones that are coming out of school now. I have a five-year-old daughter. She already has an iMac. She already knows how to use it. And her iPod isn't Britney Spears. It's Cinderella stories. They're growing up with this stuff. At five, she knows how to navigate a mouse and get around a website. Rest of us, again, social networking. I'm going to show you specific examples. It's here to stay. How many have heard of LinkedIn? LinkedIn has 14 million users and 150 different industries in it. 499 of the Fortune 500 have director level profiles and above on LinkedIn. It has become so popular we do a monthly webinar just to show people what this thing is and how to build a profile and how to connect with people you already know. Forget new relationships. Let's reconnect with the people you already know. 